In this video, I want to give you my opinion on what I believe are the three best cryptos to be involved in. Currently, what you see on the screen now is CoinCap, where there are over 200, something like 220 cryptocurrencies listed, and probably growing by the day. And if you're someone who's been thinking about um, cryptocurrencies and how can you make money from it, then of course it's mind-boggling because you're presented with so many different pieces of information, different coins, different options. Now obviously, with a market like this, if you're inclined to be a trader, then it's possible to make good money, a lot of money, and it's also possible to lose a lot of money. So I'm going to talk from the point of view of a value investor rather than a trader. In other words, what I look at when I look at all these coins, and I don't look at all of them because most of them are very, very small market caps, very thinly traded, and are generally just clones of something else or clones of Bitcoin. So what I look for is the underlying technology. In other words, what is the value proposition of the technology? And for the technology to be interesting to me, it needs to be disruptive of the existing order. Now, what I mean by that, is take Bitcoin, for example. This is, of course, my number one interest. Bitcoin is disruptive of the existing financial order. It's turning things on its head. It won't do it overnight, but it is, it is like a Trojan horse. It is advancing on the, on the establishment, and it will continue to advance. And as you could probably note it, I'm doing this, uh, I'm recording this on Friday, 17th of June, uh, looking at the price here of Bitcoin, 766. I mean, I woke up this morning, it was 760 or something, and last night when I went to bed, it was, uh, it was under 700. These are the type of things that are happening with Bitcoin right now. We're entering a surge. But what about, what about other things? In other words, people will often contact me asking my opinion about uh, another coin. People have a general idea. A lot of people think that they've missed the boat with Bitcoin, so they are looking for what they think is the next big thing. First of all, I want to clarify, you haven't missed the boat with Bitcoin. Yes, you have missed the early adopter boat, but Bitcoin has a long way to go, in my opinion. And therefore, rather than waste your money on silly coins, uh, I think you should consider buying Bitcoin. You can buy parts of a Bitcoin. You can buy fractions of a Bitcoin. So my interest in Bitcoin is well established. But what else am I looking at? And what am I looking for? Now, the next one on the list here, if you're looking at, for example, market cap is Ethereum. Now, I have to admit, I didn't really look at Ethereum seriously until about a month ago. What I mean by seriously is I mean reading the white paper and trying to come to grips with the technology. Now, when I, once I did this, I realized that Ethereum also represents a disruptive technology in the area of law. In other words, it's a smart contract system whereby uh, agreements and contracts, anything to, anything to do with contractual agreements, can be put on a public blockchain and can be uh, recorded and established that way. And because of this underlying technology, it's got a lot of potential future applications. And therefore, it is interesting from that point of view. Uh, certainly, I, I will admit, I wish I had bought Ethereum earlier. I do, I already have some, but I wish I'd bought it earlier because it's been undergoing a fairly spectacular rise recently. But I think this is certainly one worth looking at for that reason. But is there anything left what I, you know, is there something left of a highly speculative nature, which has got a value proposition, which is still very low priced, which could represent something of an echo of what Bitcoin was in the early days back in 2010, 2011. And my pick for that is Made Safe Coin. Uh, this is about the safe network. I noticed that recently this has had a bit of a surge in the last couple of days. And the reason for that is that um, it was announced that a Chinese crypto exchange, uh, Yuanbo, is about to begin trading made safe before the end of this month. That caused a spike because this price here, 7.8 cents, uh, two days ago was around about 5, 5.2 cents. So it's gone up quite a bit. This, to me, made safe represents a significant uh, potential. Now, why MadeSafe? Because MadeSafe is also a disruptive technology. In this case, it's going to, and imp implying with its technology, that it intends to disrupt what we currently see as our mainstream internet by providing an alternative means of accessing information, privacy, 
um, identity protection, um, and all the things that a lot of people would like from their internet. MadeSafe is about providing a technology through an alternative access to internet, which literally gives uh, you a much more advanced and protected experience. And it does that by distributing the internet in the same way that Bitcoin distributes. And the way it does that is by literally holding all the data on everyone's smartphone or computer instead of using centralized servers. It's well worth a look. Uh, if you're interested in that, then I would suggest you follow the link below this video and get my crypto profits report because I do discuss made safe in more detail and also the preferred way to get that and also to store it. So those are my three picks. Now I'm not saying this is exhaustive. What I'm saying is when you look at a cryptocurrency or when you look at this whole market of cryptocurrencies, what you're looking for is something with an underlying potential value, a technological value. And in my case, I look for disruptive technology. Now, I'll leave you with a word of warning. There's a lot of opportunity-based cryptos out there. In other words, tied to a business opportunity. They will say, we are the next big thing. You know, buy these cryptos, tell other people to buy it. I will say conclusively, in my opinion, that these are all a waste of time. Any crypto which is simply linked to a business opportunity is not a real crypto. It's simply destined for failure. And the only money to be made from it would be to refer other people to buy it. Dealing with genuine cryptos, you're dealing with a genuine free market and the value is established by that marketplace. So in conclusion, if you're going to look at this as a value investor, you're looking for the underlying technology and you're looking for real potential. I still believe that Bitcoin is the dominant and will be the dominant crypto for a long time, possibly forever, for what I know. Because too many Me Too things are following up and Bitcoin has the dominant advantage. But if you look at other disruptive areas of the economy, like Ethereum's disrupting of law and May's disrupting of the internet and communication, then if you look for that, then it can give you a clue that maybe that particular crypto may be worth investigating further and buying when it's pretty cheap. And therefore, you could have a good chance. And in conclusion, I'll just say, right now, for example, uh, MADE is um, 7.8. What will MADE be worth? Well, personally, and of course, I can't say this with any, um, you know, any absolute, absolute belief. All I can say is my opinion. And I'm certainly not giving investment advice. What I can say is that I wouldn't be surprised at all if MADE very shortly was um, approaching a dollar. And I would, I would say that it could happen quite soon. And it could happen as a result of the opening of the Chinese exchange. But down the track a bit, maybe in a year, maybe 18 months, it's not without reason to believe May could be $10. In other words, something coins bought now at this very low price could represent a significant gain over time. Anyway, that's my opinion. If it's helpful, I'm glad it is. And if it's not, well, <laughs> there's always plenty of other places to look for opinions and everyone's got an opinion. But I do think for someone who's been involved in this space with Bitcoin since 2011, this is how I look at it and this is how I recommend to people look at it in terms of spotting a potential next winner and also being fully aware of what the existing winners already are. Okay, thanks for watching.